I'm Sue McMahon and I'm cookery editor at Woman's Weekly magazine and I'm going to show you how to make a classic Victoria sandwich sponge cake. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the cake tins. So I'm using a piece of kitchen paper and take off some of the butter and then spread it over the base and the sides of the tins. These are 18 centimetre sandwich tins, which is seven inches. And I prefer the tins to have straight sides. So what I'm going to do now is to help make sure they release is put a disc of baking parchment into the bottom of each tin. I'm going to put some flour in the tin and tip it around so it coats the sides because this will help release the cake. Then I'm going to tap it over the other tin and tip this around. So this is the two tins ready to use. So the first thing I need to do is weigh the eggs. So I'm going to put a jug on the scales and I'm going to set it to zero. and then I'm going to break each of the eggs into it. Okay, so they come to 174 grams, so that's almost 175, I said I thought they would come to. So now I need to start by weighing the butter and the sugar into a bowl. Okay, so that's 174 grams of butter and I'm going to zero the scales again and add 174 grams of sugar. Now this needs to be creamed together and I find the easiest thing is to use an electric whisk. So the idea of doing the creaming is to get some air into the mixture. So that's the butter and the sugar creamed. So what I'm going to do now with this mixture is I'm going to add about one egg and along with that egg I'm going to add a spoonful of flour. Adding the flour will help stop the mixture from curdling and I'm going to whisk that in. And then when the mixture is nice and smooth, I can add another egg and another spoonful of flour and whisk that in. then the final egg and another spoonful of flour. And then I'm going to add the rest of the flour to the bowl. And you can either fold it in, or I find it's actually easier just to use an electric whisk just to mix it all together. Uh, 
and then I'll give it just a final mix with the spatula. Make sure all that mixture on the side of the bowl is all incorporated. So now to divide the mixture between the two tins, what I find is useful to do sometimes is to check that the tins weigh the same amount and then you can put in what you think is about half of the mixture and then check that you've got approximately the same amount in each tin. And then I can spread the mixture to level it in the tin. And these need to go in an oven that's been preheated to 190 centigrade, which is gas five. And I'm going to put them in the oven side by side and then they'll take about 20 to 30 minutes.